hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to embed google sheets um into your wordpress website so this is a quick um, tutorial i'm not going to waste much time so this is the sheet that i want to what i want to import okay or embed into my um you know my wordpress website now as you can see i have already done it i just want you to know how it is done okay so this is it now this is um so simple in such a way that at the moment i update something over here it automatically reflects over here okay so i don't need to even do it on the website but if i do it on the google sheets over here it automatically reflects so let's go to transactions right now and then um let's say this is the transaction or let's say this is a transaction of for twenty five thousand. that's what an income um transaction okay so twenty five thousand. now let's say um i go to my google sheet and then let's check it out and see if there is an income transaction of twenty five thousand. so if you go to the transactions over here um let's scroll up and see you see that there is an income transaction of twenty five um you know um thousand over here okay that's an income now if you go over here and let's say we change this one from twenty five thousand to um let's say thirty thousand okay so five thousand difference right now let's um leave there and go over here and then go and see the summary over here you see that um there is what the actual difference of what has come in so there's it there's what um you know um where is it yeah it is under other okay because if you go to transactions over here will be under what under other as you can see the category is what other now if you go over here that is thirty thousand okay so if you see over here, it's what it's thirty thousand now let's go to our website and see if the transaction is what is reflecting now um to be able to see it if you go to summary over here um let's see if it is what it has reflected so as you can see um it has what there is a difference over here which is what thirty thousand but if you go back um to transactions over here you realize that the transaction has what has increased over here which is what instead of um, twenty thousand, it has what is an increase to thirty thousand, and that is how um the google sheets you know um synchronization really works okay so you update at google sheets it automatically updates on your what on your web websites you don't need to be doing it twice i'm going to show you how you can be able to what um you know embed this your google sheets into your your wordpress website okay so um let's say this is a sheet that we want to what embed into our website so um to 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 do a different thing now let me go to you know my um google sheets front page and then i'll just choose a different sheet that i want to what i want to embed so um let's say i want to embed this um you know google finance over here so let me just um you know click on the finance tracker investment tracker over here and then we'll use that one instead of the um the one that we what we chose first so let's wait for it to load for us and then we're going to what we're going to um, embed that one into our website all right guys so this is what i want to embed into my what into my website so this is what um uh, google finance um, investment tracker so this whole thing i want to embed okay so to be able to embed this one now what i want to do is um i want to go to file over here okay and then um i'm going to go to share okay and then i'll say publish to web now over here you can choose um you know the entire document the entire web page or whatever you want to so what we want to do is what um, we want to choose the entire what entire web page okay and then over here you can choose between you see we have two sheets on it so you can choose between um the price history or the what the watch list okay so i want to just embed the entire what entire document and then i'm just going to click on publish now i will ask you are you sure you want to publish you say yes and then it's going to what um you know give you this um link okay now this is a link okay now if you don't want the link you can choose what the embed what code now this is the iframe code that we want to embed into our our website so i'm just going to what, copy this code over here and then i'm going to go to my um website okay so let's say i want to use the sample page over here okay so i'm going to click on edit over here now um i am using elementor so um i can be able to use elementor but of course you can still use um you know your normal gutenberg blog editor to be able to what, embed it on your um, website or in your website so let's say 
um i just want to uh, delete this whole thing and then i'll show you how i'll be able to uh, embed it so i'm going to remove all the blocks away so um, i'm going to remove all the paragraph blocks away so i'm going to select all of them let me just remove them one by one so that go over here click on remove paragraph go over here click on remove paragraph yeah so and then maybe this one over here and then click on remove paragraph okay so now what i, I can do basically is um so I'm going to remove all of them, the quotes and the paragraph, everything from here, okay? So that you, um, we get a clean sheet over there. So I think we are done. We just only have one over here. So what I want to do is, um, first of all, I want to, um, you know, choose a blog, and then I'll, I'm going to use the um, this one over here, the HTML, um, you know, custom HTML code. So I'm going to select it over here, and I'm going to paste the iframe over here. Now I'm going to update it and see if it really works for me. So I'm going to go to um, open it in a new tab over here. And then um, let's see if it works because that is an iframe and I expect it to work. It works. So guys, as you can see, um, it works over here, but it, it is what it is very small. Okay. And it's very small. You can see to it, um, you know, very, very small. Okay. And that is not how we want it to be. So let's go back over here now just after the iframe okay just after the iframe we want to what we want to um you know just write height over there and then equal to and then with you know just write 800 um pixel or 900 pix pixels or whatever you want to what you want to the size you want it to be and then you know just update it okay so now let's go over here and then let's see um if the changes have what taking place Okay, so the changes have still not taken place. Let me see if I did it correct. Oh, yeah, instead of height, I did what? Height or whatever it is. So let me just update it, come back again, and then um, refresh it. And let's see. So, guys, as you can see, um, you know, the changes have what? Have taken place, but it's still what? It's still small, okay? And that is why I love using Elementor to, uh, to do this one because um, over here, I don't know why the iframe is what is too um, small over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Elementor. So I'm going to click on what um, edit with Elementor, and then because I use Mo Elementor to you know edit most of my pages and other stuff, and then I'm going to what I'm going to use Elementor to you know create the page that I want. Okay, so embed the code in it. So it's also very simple with Elementor. It is not that really big. It's the same thing as you do always all the time. So what we're going to do is um for with Elementor, I'm going to change um you know the default to what Elementor canvas over here. And as you can see, at the moment I did that, um you know I'm getting the full the full view of what of what I want. Okay. So now I'm going to what I'm going to update it. And as you can see, I'm getting what the full view of what of um you know the google finance tracker that i really need so if i if i um just click over here i'll be able to have access to this plus icon and then i can you know just give it um, um a spacer okay so let me just um give it you know or let's say let me just give it a um a container okay so let me place a container over here or let me just add a structure to it okay so i'm going to add a structure to to it okay let me just use this one add this one um i don't know why this one is not coming okay but then let's say i'm going to add a, um, a container to this one so let me just add a container to this one and then within the container um with a container over there i'm just going to give it to it um, you know a minimum height of let's say um 500 
minimum height oh 500 is too big so let's say 300 300 okay and i'm going to give it um you know um, a style i'm going to give it a background um type i'm going to give it um this background over here so i just want to see the header over there so as you can see i can clearly see what my header and then over here i'll just give it what um a pattern okay so um let me just go over here and then go to advance and then you know just give it a margin okay so let me just give it a margin of what 90 at the top 90 at the bottom and then guys as you can see i have my what my destined that now if you don't see this one okay you can also use let me let me go over here you can also use um you know if you delete this one over there let's go to the text so this is what this is the iframe code that we what we um we inserted okay so as you can see this is what this is just the iframe code so we can just copy this one over here okay and then even delete this one so let's say we want to delete this one and then we can search for um, html okay so this one over here just paste it over here and then put in your what your iframe code over here and then you can see your google what tracker is what is perfectly aligned in it okay and now you can be able to what, update it the way you want it so now if you go back over here and then we refresh it we're going to have what our um website really designed for us and our google finance tracker um you know embedded in it very nicely for us so guys as you can see this is how you can be able to embed your um your google sheet into your what into your web wordpress website i hope this video helps you to be able to embed your google sheet into your wordpress website if um this video helps you a lot please give me a thumbs up and then continue to subscribe to my channel so that um we will be able to you know um give you more of these tips and tricks about wordpress thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye